Hello students, welcome you all to the video lecture on signals and system. Today we are going to see about Z transform of sinusoidal signal. So this question you can expect in 8 marks. So either they may ask the question as find Z transform of sinusoidal signal. So you need to write the expression as X of N equal to sin omega N U of N or they may ask question as find Z transform of sin omega N U of N. Okay. So first we need to know about the definition of the Z transform. So what is the formula for the Z transform? We know that Z transform of X of N is equal to summation N is equal to minus infinity to infinity X of N Z power minus N. So wherever I have X of N, I have to replace it by sin omega N U of N. So, Z transform of X of N is nothing but X of Z which is given by summation N is equal to minus infinity to infinity sin omega N U of N. So, this is X of N and which is multiplied by Z power minus N. Okay. And before proceeding, we need to know what is U of N. So, we know that U of n is the discrete step signal and which is given by U of n is 1 for n greater than or equal to 0 and it is 0 for n less than 0. So, in the formula or in the given x of n, we have sin omega n U of n. So, whenever this value is a 0 for n less than 0, then anyway 0 into any value is also 0 for n less than 0. Okay. So, what we can do in this formula where we have summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity because u of n exists for n greater than or equal to 0, this whole term also exists for n equal to 0 to infinity that is it exists for n greater than or equal to 0. So, I can rechange your summation from minus infinity to infinity as 0 to infinity because of your unit step signal. So, that is my next step. So, the transform of x of n, I can write it as summation n is equal to 0 to infinity. And what is your x of n? Sin omega n u of n z power minus n. I know that for 0 to infinity u of n value is 1. So, I can rechange it as n equal to 0 to infinity sin omega n into 1 z power minus n. So, and again while coming to this equation, actually we need to apply the formula. Usually in Z transform we have one formula called summation n equal to 0 to infinity x power n which can be written as 1 by 1 minus x right. So, here I need to change your sin omega n such that I can express it into complex exponential term where I can use one term with the power n. So, how I can rewrite your sin omega n? We know the formula sin omega n is given by e power j omega n minus e power minus j omega n by 2j. That is the general formula we have sin x is equal to e power j x minus e power minus j x by 2j. So, instead of x we have omega n. So, I have this formula. So, using this formula I can rewrite sin omega n as one term power of n. Okay. So, the exponential term power of n. So, how I can rewrite this expression now? So, it is given by summation n is equal to 0 to infinity. What is sin omega n? sin omega n is e power j omega n minus e power minus j omega n by 2j. 1 into any value is that particular value. So, z power minus n is there. Okay. So, now 
in this term 1 by 2 j is common that you can take outside and I can split this into two terms ok that is I am going to multiply z power minus n inside. So, I have summation term for commonly so I have summation n equal to 0 to infinity multiply this term and this term e power j omega n into z power minus n and I have minus again for these two terms I have to multiply for that also summation is common. So, summation n is equal to 0 to infinity. So, this and this I am going to multiply e power minus j omega n z power minus n ok. So, I have these terms. So, now I need to simplify these terms right by applying the formula by using this formula summation n equal to 0 to infinity x power n. For that first of all I need to write base term separately power term separately. So, 1 by 2 j summation n is equal to 0 to infinity. Here I have power n in both the terms commonly. So, I have base as e power j omega z inverse in the first term minus summation n is equal to 0 to infinity again take power n outside e power minus j omega z power minus 1 ok. So, I have 1 by 2 j and for this I can write summation n equal to 0 to infinity x power n formula. So, 1 by 1 minus x formula I can write. So, 1 by 1 minus what is x here e power j omega z inverse. Similarly, for this term 1 by 1 minus what is x here e power minus j omega z inverse ok. So, like this I can write and then now again in all the terms I have z inverse. So, I am just converting z inverse into z terms. So, what you can do multiply both numerator and denominator by z ok. So, 1 by 2 j I have here z divide by z into 1 again z minus z into z inverse get cancelled. So, you have only e power j omega. Similarly, in the second term multiply and both numerator and denominator by z. So, z divide by z minus again z z inverse get cancelled e power minus j omega ok. So, now I have this term I need to cross multiply and simplify this term as one single term ok. So, I have left hand side z of x power n and right hand side I have 1 by 2 j z by z minus e power j omega minus z by z minus e power minus j omega ok. So, when you compare both the terms both the terms are different. So, take both the terms in as LCM. So, z power e z minus e power j omega into z minus e power minus j omega both the terms will be there in the denominator. So, for numerator you need to cross multiply because both terms are different. So, z into you multiply this term here z minus e power minus j omega minus z this term you have to multiply here z minus e power j omega. Ok. Now, simplify 1 by 2 j multiply your terms inside. So, z into z is z square minus z into e power minus j omega minus z into z is z square again minus into minus will become plus z into e power j omega denominator you have first z you multiply with both the terms. So, z square minus z e power j omega minus z e power minus j omega e power j omega into e power minus j omega get cancelled minus into minus will become plus 1 ok. So, now z square z square get cancelled. So, in both the terms I have z I can take a z outside ok. Let me take positive value first 
e power j omega here minus e power minus j omega in the numerator okay so in both the terms take z outside here e power j omega minus e power minus j omega divide by z square in these two terms take minus z commonly outside so e power j omega plus e power minus j omega plus 1 okay so now i have again a formula right so already we have discussed so what is the formula e power jx minus e power minus jx by 2j is nothing but sin x similarly i have one more formula e power jx plus e power minus jx by 2 is nothing but cos x so using these two formulas So here I have minus denominator 2j, here I have plus denominator 2. This is sin x formula, this is cos x formula. Using these two terms, I can simplify this term as 1 by 2j. Here I have z. What is e power uh, jx minus e power minus jx? It is 2j sin x. So using that, I can write this as 2j. Here, instead of x, I have omega. So sin omega 2j sin omega okay so only this term i have so it is 2j sin omega similarly z square minus z so these two terms are nothing but 2 cos x so here it is 2 cos omega 2 cos omega plus 1 okay so denominator i have 1 2 j this 2 j this 2 j get cancelled Okay, so in simple, I can write that z transform of x of n that is z transform of sin omega n u of n formula is z sin omega divided by z square minus 2 z cos omega plus 1. So, this they may ask in 8 marks or 13 marks and you need to memorize this formula also which would be useful in DSP subject. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching.